Pretty nice out there right now. We've got a little bit of a haze going on. That uh, temperature sits at 79 degrees. So we've got a little bit of a breeze, but notice the humidity, 42%. That dew point sits at 54. So even though we're warming up, it's not feeling too muggy out there. We've got a little bit of cloud cover that's been breaking up Fort Dodge eastward. And we look regionally, and it's sunny in a lot of places. You look to the west, they've got sunshine all throughout Nebraska as well as down through Kansas. And you got to look all the way up into Canada to see some showers and some thunderstorms. But we will increase our chances for showers and thunderstorms the closer we get to the weekend here. You can see some of those just nudging up against the Iowa border Friday evening. So I don't think we'll get into any wet weather until Saturday and potentially into Sunday. So if you do have outdoor plans, especially today, uh, things are looking pretty safe, even if it's going to be a little warm out there. 84 degrees in the metro. If you're traveling eastward, it's going to be a little cooler by the lake. 69 for Chicago, Green Bay at 61, and southwest Dodge City coming in at 88 degrees with Kansas City sitting in the middle 80s. So we break your day down hour by hour, and it's looking pretty nice. That breeze staying out of the east-southeast up to around 15 miles an hour. And we've got a little bit of cloud cover, but those should be breaking as we head into the evening hours. Look at that 10 p.m. temperature, though. Still talking 71 degrees. Should be an absolutely pleasant night. Futurecast does not bring in much overnight. Clears out the clouds almost entirely. And we saw that rain that was nudging up against the northwestern Iowa border there. And you can see by 7 a.m. that still stays to the west. We've got some additional cloud cover to the southeast building. But that rain is going to be slow to move in. We're talking 11 p.m. on Friday, and we still haven't seen any make its way into the state. But by Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening, it succeeds. It's March eastward, and you can see some showers and some thunderstorms up into Spencer, eastward towards Fort Dodge, and that continues to develop eastward. And some of the storms that we're looking at for Saturday evening into Sunday could be strong, potential for some even severe weather, bringing in some gusty winds and a little bit of hail. But if you're looking to get out, Today would be the day we will be 11 degrees above average. And as I said before, likely not going to be feeling all that humid outside. That humidity is way low. And we look out for tonight, temperatures dropping into the upper 50s to low 60s. So hopping around town to town for you. Hot but not muggy through central Iowa. Areas off to the southwest sitting around the same. Could see a few more clouds out there. But no, by the evening, things are going to be burning off. And today up into the northwest, sunny skies, temperatures in the 80s. And to the northeast, low to mid 80s as well. It is warm pretty much everywhere. And we see that warmth continue through southeastern portions of the state. And really for the next few days, 84 on Friday. Chances for showers and thunderstorms Saturday and Sunday. And again, some of those could be strong. The potential for a little bit of light severe weather. As we head into your work week, though, things are looking drier. Middle 70s Sunday into Monday. We're back into the 80s by the middle of next week.